Okay, good evening, everybody. It's a Tuesday, a hot night in Ohio. Just got done with my uh, little DoorDash shift, and uh, not too good tonight. DoorDash is uh, not looking great today. But let me uh, let me ask you a serious question. And be honest with yourself. Did we truly see the real Joe Biden this week? And just think about that while I'm asking you. The real Joe Biden. And if you've been smart and you watch him from a far... far you know what kind of guy guy he is. We all know the game. Uh, even though he don't have hardly any brain cells left, he's he's a feeble old man at this point. I mean, just a broken down, elderly mess. If if you want to be honest about it, but not even his handlers can corral him in enough to even make a cohesive plea for the people of Hawaii and not until he shows up at Hawaii dazed and confused that's going to be my new my new uh, moniker for him not my new nickname is uh Joey B, dazed and confused. I mean, this guy goes and does a, uh, you know, how the planes, they do touchdowns and they go right back up in the air. <laughs> they, he literally did a two-hour touchdown. I don't know if the VP was there or not. Kamala the killer. That's what I call her. But, I mean, he's spinning not even a whole day in Hawaii the death toll keeps ticking upward it's horrible what those people have went through those people had to jump in the water and they press they, they asked this guy our president our fearless leader no less for a comment hey uh, Mr. President Mr. President what can you say to uh, the people in uh, Hawaii and, you know, uh, what can we say to give them hope, blah, blah, blah. What do you want to say to the people of Hawaii? And you know what the guy says? Literally, no comment. So that means one of two things. Either, number one, he doesn't give a SH blank T about anything going on there or pretty much anywhere or number two he's so mentally out of it that he has to have people literally tell him what to do and and what to say on on emotional uh issues either way that's that's a danger to our democracy I mean, if you want to get down to the truly the brass tacks of the whole situation, is that that is a clear and present danger to our our uh, republic, you know. And yet, you want to you want to charge the former presidency with four indictments, no less, for for the for that. But yet, we have a commander in chief. That cannot give hope to people that that literally was burned out in a fire. What what kind of world are we living in now? And we knew what we had when we went to the polls. And these people that voted for this guy actually had hope that he was going to do do something. And, and what did he do? What did he do when he was the VP for Obama? 
Hey, zero. You did nothing. And yet you put this guy in here, a feeble old uh, dribbling man in on the most powerful job in the western world, no less, in the whole world, probably. Yeah, the whole world. And, and this is what you get. You know, inflation is double digits, double digits. We have gas that is north of 350, okay? Uh, we have a whole nother economy, bricks, that we could see this culminating for the past 15 years, and now it's solidified and became itself a product of, of fiduciary monetary means and there's no aggressive actions that our president takes but yet he wants to bomb the hell out of Ukraine because his son has interest in that company deals that were made you know what's the son say? I got I got the big guy next to me. We need an answer in an hour. You know that guy can give you an answer, so you can do backdoor deals. But yet you can't say I'm so sorry for the people in Hawaii. Really? And this is what we got in the White House. And come on, people. We are better people than this, than to elect these, these yahoos in here. They all have problems, but come on, man. you got an enemy, literally. He is almost, I would classify him almost as an enemy of the state. But yet you want to, you want to put Trump away for the rest of his life and we never had prosperity like this since Reagan or before that since Eisenhower you know these people that that vote for these presidencies you know you need to really research what politics mean and what these candidates are offering because the low information voters are sinking the country. Now, I'm all for, you know, it doesn't matter if you got an R or a D next to your name. I want a president that will aggressively uh, protect my means, protect the economy, and shore up our defenses. And we have zero for three with Joe Biden so you know I told everybody some of my liberal friends I said you watch and see what happens he won't even make a positive step in the first the first uh, his first go around his you know his first presidency so uh, you know he's an incumbent now and I don't know if he, if he is reelected, well, we are for sure done as a country. You know, he's already wanting to give up sovereignty. Uh, he totally backs the uh, World Economic Forum, the Trilateral Trilateral Commission. He's in bed with all those dummies. The same people that want to call 20% uh, of the herds of beef cattle in Ireland because they fart methane. Come on. What is wrong with this world? I, I don't get it. I don't get it. And I'm sorry this is such a rant. But, man, come on, people. Where is our freedom at? You know, my grandpa didn't go to... To, to Omaha Beach in the first wave and this country to end up like this man it's 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 just sickening what we have now 
vote, vote, vote with your heart, not just from what somebody tells you. And research the next time you vote. That's a little lesson for you. Because what we've got now is, is it, it's deadly to our lives. This guy is stoking the fires of WW3 right now. You know, are you going to poke the ire of uh, Putin? And, and that's what he's doing. He's trying to match wits with Putin. I know I'm jumping all around, but it, but rewatch this video and it will make sense to you. I mean, you have our president that tries to downplay Putin that he's not relevant and what the hell is he doing this for, blah, 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 when Putin is clearly the smarter adversary out of the two. He would take him to the woodshed as far as mentally. Uh, Biden cannot even hold a candle to the mental capacity to what Putin, Putin has in store for our country if we misstep. So, you know, this goes out to the voters for Biden. This is what you got. Are you happy with what you got? So, guys, that's all I got for today. Uh, you know, clearly, I'm not in the best of moods, but, you know, these things need to be said. Um, it's a joke on where our country's at right now. We are the laughing stock. We are the, you know, we are the ninny of the world, America, a shining city on the hill that cannot even have a, a leader that doesn't freaking drool on himself. Imagine that. All right, that's all I got. You know, I've got my thoughts out for the day. If you agree with me, give me a thumbs up. You know, I believe I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong, but we sure are on the wrong track. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one.